Hey what's up guys Kevin Singh here and welcome to the new series of videos called Adobe Tutorials. So in this series of videos we are going to talk about the main applications by Adobe which are used in making YouTube videos or video editing. So first one we have here is the Photoshop for making thumbnails for your videos and then Premiere Pro for editing your videos, creating sequences and uh, more. And then finally we come over to the After Effects which is used for adding extra effects to your video and uh, adding animations. So firstly we are going to talk about the Premiere Pro because it is the common application which is being used to edit your videos and uh, put them in a sequence. So firstly we will be talking about the Premiere Pro then we will come over to the After Effects then finally we will come over to the Photoshop which is very 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 easy. So let's start. So to start off you will be opening the Premiere Pro application. So if you do not have that application, I will leave a link in the description below from where you can download that. So here we will be getting three options, which is the new project, then we have open project to open the saved project, then we have help option, not going so deep in it. So right now we will be creating a new project. So here, as you can see, this window will pop up. So I would recommend you to keep all the settings you will see here to the default as you are a beginner. But you have to change the capture format to HDV if you are making the HD videos. Then you will be seeing this location option over here. This is for where you want to save your projects. So firstly, I will recommend you to make a different a hard disk partition to save your Adobe After After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Photoshop, whatever it is, to make a separate hard disk partition for them to get the fastest performance and the render speeds. So as you can see here, I have made a 100 GB partition called YouTube Work for where I save all the videos I have made and all the audios and projects over here. So I would recommend you to do this for getting the fast possible render speeds. Then you can also select over here your partition which you just made. So let me just select it where I want to save. So I will be going to my partition and I also made a separate projects folder to save all my projects. So let's save it. Here you will be seeing this. So let's name it as a practice project for now. And we'll be working on it right now. So let's do OK. So this is the updated version of this application. So it is having a great advantage over here that we get all the resolutions over here and we get it different for different aspect ratios and refresh rates. So right now I will be selecting 1080p with aspect ratio 16 by 9 and refresh rate 29. And uh, you can also re rename this sequence over here, though I will be leaving it right added there, as it is. So now we'll be getting over this window. This is having everything, the timeline and everything. So talk, we'll be talking about the, the sequences and everything on this screen in the next video. So now we're coming over to the how to save the project. So for saving the project, you have to go to file over here and here you have to go to save. It is very simple and we just saved our project. So in the next video, as I just told, we'll be talking about the, everything which is present over here in this video. And we'll uh, also talking about the sequences, what are sequences, how to create a sequence and much more. So till then, thanks for watching and talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.